Wilson, and thanks for spending part of it with us. Many Port Arthur residents have been through a shelter in place for much of the day after a Union Carbide Dow Chemical Pipeline explosion happened around 2 o'clock this morning. The explosion of the ethylene pipeline caused a leak in a second pipeline carrying butadine and later ignited the butadine gas. Flames shot more than 100 feet into the night sky and the explosion was heard and felt throughout the city. No injuries have been reported from the blast although schools suspended several bus routes in the area to avoid any potential hazards. Port Arthur Fire Chief Larry Richards says the explosion was actually seen by a passing patrolman. And we'll have more updated video tonight, but right now, Brian Burns has reaction from residents and officials. We just heard this loud explosion, and we both jumped up out of the bed to run to see what happened. People all across the city of Port Arthur felt and heard the blast. Hilton Kelly lives two and a half miles from the scene of the explosion. I was in bed, and all of a sudden, the house shook. It started, and the windows rattled. And uh, I sat up in the bed, and I, I could just hear this loud combustion. And so I looked out the window, and the sky was just lit, a real bright orange. Port Arthur Fire Chief Larry Richard tells us no shelter in place was issued at the beginning of the fire because it was so large. The smoke and products were going high, higher up in the atmosphere. And once the fire started to die down, you started to get the smoke layer coming on, onto the Stonegate area, and that's when we issued the shelter in place. We've done some preliminary investigations, and we don't think it was anything that was um, terroristic or uh, uh, vandalism or anything like that. So we just, at this point, we just think it was a pipeline rupture. It didn't happen in the middle of nowhere as it appears. It's only about a quarter of a mile from the nearest subdivision. And the explosion did shake up a lot of people. It scared me. <laughs> it doesn't, to be honest. I mean, it was that close to us, you know. It's a scary situation. Did you actually feel what happened? No, my wife did. I sleep a little more soundly than she did, and she felt the, the poof you know, typical of an explosion or a clap of thunder or, or some bad occurrence like that. City Councilman John Beard said he's upset that it takes so long for residents to find out if they're in any danger. I had some people call me with regard to this explosion and wanting to know what it was and saying that, hey, we just basically, it was so strong, we just got up and left. We didn't, you know, even stay around. And so it's, it's, it's quite, you know, it's scary. In Port Arthur, Brian Burns, KBMT, Channel 12 News. School officials in the Port Natchez Grove School District